Okay, so uh, I really think I'm going crazy over my um, Rico uh, SG3110. I have uh, sawgrass sublimation ink there. Um, I was having some issues with, uh, you know, printing photos and all that kind of shit. Um, so I obviously only tested to print on sublimation paper because uh, I think that's the best idea because that's what I'm going to use the printer for. But uh, even though I have a perfect picture here uh, on my computer, it doesn't really matter what picture I have. Um, it doesn't seem to come out right on the paper. So uh, I've been dealing with this for a couple of days now. I've been sitting here trying to do different stuff. I'm researching the internet. I mean, last night I was sitting here for, I think, three in the morning I mean uh, it's crazy searching the internet for information I downloaded some program some type of power driver some kind of shit it didn't really help me at all uh, the power driver for Mac doesn't do anything I'm using Pixelmator so uh, of course I can adjust some colors there but not the way that that I think I need to and I'm not really up to buying a program for kind of like 200 quid or so. I'm not really up to that, not even 100 quid. So not really sure how to solve this, pro uh, this problem here. Uh, I mean, I have a perfect program here that I bought many years ago. Uh, it's pretty much as Photoshop. Uh, and that's what I want to use because that's the program that I know of. And it's a very powerful program. So... Let's take a look on the picture that I printed and let's take a look on, well, on the computer first and then we take a look on, on, on my print and we obviously is going to see that it's something very, very wrong. This is the picture. Picture of The Walking Dead. Just perfect in all colors, nothing wrong here. It's just, it's a very good graphic picture right here. Great resolution, everything is perfect here. So, let's take a look on the actual print. This is my print. Looks like shit. <laughs> it's no anywhere near anything looking like a picture. Uh, this is so bad condition right here that I'm not really sure. I mean, this is terrible. Uh, very very brown everywhere uh, you can see something black going on there uh, something black going on there but not very much uh, so yeah um, uh, this I'm very confused about this um, this is not good at all this is not good at all. This is making me very confused right here. Uh, I mean, buying a printer for 90 quid and some sublimation ink for kind of like 300 quid. I mean, um, I'm very desperate to get this going here because this is not good. I expect a lot better than this. So... <laughs> Uh, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to look like this. I mean, maybe it's supposed to look like shit on the paper. Um, I don't know, but this is the sublimation paper right here. Uh, this is the text print R right there. That's the sublimation paper. So, I don't know, this is looking like shit and I'm very disappointed. Um, I cannot do anything more on my computer because I've searched everything. I've searched everything. I mean, I try to do my very best to find uh, something that really can change the color settings or something like that. I mean, there is not only one color that is screwed up here. It's obviously a lot of things. 
is very wrong because you can see first of all all the picture is almost brown everything is brown pretty much uh, you can see something little as I said before something not black but very dark brown going on here and uh, at their feet of the walking dead right here but anyway everything else is looking pretty much um, pretty much just as some piece of shit right here so yeah so I think um, I'm stuck here I mean uh, I don't know anyone with uh, you know knowledge about these type of printers because I have never heard of this brand before I'll be talking to 10 20 people that is into this type of business and they never heard of it either uh, I believe all of them is kind of like using Epson printers and some other, you know, big, big printers that is, you know, costing probably about 5,000 quids or so. So uh, I've been in contact with the seller, uh, which in this case is Subleblanks. I'm not going to talk trash or shit about them because it seems to be a good company. The only downside with it is if I asking a question it will take uh, at least a week before I get an answer and I'm not up to that kind of shit so uh, I don't know I'm, I'm kind of I mean I can't really send them kind of like 10 emails because they will not answer any quicker than that so uh, that is not very good uh, because I need some support somewhere and uh, if uh, well of course uh, I, I sent them a, a email last night and I really got an answer this morning actually I told them about this problem here and uh, uh, he said that uh, Chris I think his name is said that uh, um, Maybe there is some adjustments or anything like that because I have some other problems with it smudging the the print actually it smudges the print so when printing on the pre-cut papers So, uh, I don't know, uh, every other questions I ask them, it's taking a lot, at least a week before I, I got an answer. So, oh shit, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm stuck here. Uh, maybe skip this printer and try something else. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe try to get an Epson or something. I, I have no idea. Well, it's a lot of things going on in my mind right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I spent a lot of money on this, so I would be very sad to to have to buy another printer because I'm up to almost 400 quid uh, on this Rico printer and uh, this Rico paper and the sublimation ink so it's a lot of money for me uh, I already spent a lot of money on all my machines and everything so I would really be happy to get this going here with the mug sublimation and everything so if you have any thoughts about this please write me a comment down below uh, I would be very happy about everything that could help me in the right direction so yeah well uh, I'm not going to sit here and talk anymore so I see you next time Bye.